people think that only doing yantra mantra tantra donation is remedy though these are very essential parts of remedies but these are not the only remedies as such many times you also see what remedy bill gates is doing what remedy barack obama is doing and suddenly they are like donations according to the planets donations according to the houses knowingly or unknowingly everyone is doing what i have seen that when you have a good horoscope when you have a fortunate horoscope then generally in these cases you automatically do the remedies which are good for your horos which are good for your horoscope which are good for yourself because this is what it means to be lucky right proper guidance and doing right thing at right point of time is already happening but other than that also you have to understand a particular point that if jupiter is connected to the 7th house 7th lord or venus in any way then being ethical and moral in marriage is very important and that is the best remedy that you can do other remedies are secondary jupiter connected to 7th house seventh lord and venus and you are not being ethical and moral to your spouse or partner then no matter what other remedies you are doing mantra chanting donation etc it is not going to work and i have ample examples of it that immoral people with jupiter connected to the marriage factors are not able to save their marriage despite getting their remedies done by the best people around right so the most important thing is doing the right karma as per the planet that will make you in alignment in synchronization with what the planet is trying to give you and this way you will be better able to receive the blessings of planets today i am talking of jupiter and as per the placement of jupiter in 12 houses of your horoscope what type of approach you should have in life to get the best result of jupiter that is my basic point for today by this way you should also understand that these remedies for every planet everyone should do because unlike other remedies where you have to think whether it is a strengthening remedy for example wearing gemstone is a remedy to strengthen the planet and if a planet is a malefic you don't want to strengthen it such considerations are not here so you can do remedy for any planet as per the house they are situated in generally you will choose remedy as per the dasha antar dasha of the planet or you will choose remedy as per the work of the planet for example you will do a remedy of jupiter when you are going through dasha antar dasha of jupiter or you will do a remedy of jupiter when you are into a jupiterian profession or where you are expecting jupiter to give you something in these cases you will do jupiter related remedy and it will be very beneficial for you it will make you in synchronization with the result that jupiter is trying to give in your horoscope and then you will enjoy it talking of jupiter jupiter indicates fortune jupiter indicates happiness and jupiter indicates enjoyment so once you synchronize yourself with the result of jupiter happiness enjoyment and good fortune you will sure shot enjoy other than that as per the house lordship of jupiter whatever positive significations of that house is there these positive significations you will also enjoy if you have this approach permanently in your life then slowly slowly you will see one one and a half year your life have completely changed and these good results of jupiter that i have just told you will be in your life making it more happy contented and satisfactory right so coming directly to the point jupiter in the ascendant see jupiter indicates dharma and jupiter indicates sattva so sattva means you have to be compassionate towards people try to help people in whatever way it is possible most importantly things such as jealousy competition you should avoid under all circumstances otherwise it is problematic jupiter also indicates dharma and one should be careful of their dharma by dharma by dharma it is meant duty so one should fulfill their duty towards their mother father sibling spouse children and if there is a conflict spouse is wanting something else parents are wanting something else then one should take the path of righteousness decide what is right and what is beneficial for both of them and then one should do it specifically people dependent on you for the time being before marriage mother father are dependent on you and after marriage a children and children and spouse is dependent on you you should your prime focus in your life should be people dependent on you so never ignore your family members for your friend circle or for your enjoyment never ignore them 
This way you will synchronize yourself with Jupiter in the ascendant and you will get good results. Along with that Jupiter in the ascendant, I generally recommend people to, you know, have their aura or have their personality which represents their culture, which represents their religion. So for example, Hindus should be a rosary, should have tilakam on their forehead, right? If possible, wear traditional dresses. These things, right? Like your personality should be a representation of the religion you belong to. This way, Jupiter will give you the best result possible in the ascendant. Coming to the second house, Jupiter in the second house and 11th house, right? These are wealth houses. The result that I told you for the ascendant is also applicable for the 10th house. Jupiter in the second house, one should take care of their elders. Grandfather, grandmother, they should take care of their grandfather, grandmother and follow the advice that your grandfather and grandmother have is giving you. Also, sometimes what happens that grandfather and grandmother have some tradition in home or, you know, they have a type of wish. So fulfill the wishes of elders, grandfather, grandmother. If they have any tradition like they are donating on every Purnimas or anything like that, that they have been doing, continue that also. And if they have any unfulfilled desire, then fulfill their desire also. If they want something to happen, make it happen. Right? So following the advices of your elders, grandfather, grandmother, both maternal and paternal is the major thing that you should do. Along with that, mantra chanting is very beneficial with Jupiter in the second house. Second house indicating speech. If you talk about dharma, educate people about dharma and your religion, and chant the glories of God, do prayers for Christians and Muslims and others and do mantra chanting, stutra reading for Hindus, then it will purify Jupiter through your speech, which will be very good. Most importantly, one should always talk about dharma and should not talk about things which is non-dharmic, right? which goes against the dharma. So you see, sometimes we don't see that people are very strict with respect to their you know, religion. For example, nowadays in corporate culture, even Brahmins who don't eat non-vegetarian food, they will sit with us. Some, they will sit with someone who is eating vegetarian, non-vegetarian food, and they can share table with them. Orthodoxically, traditionally, this should not be done, and this is something that you should avoid. It is not important to have fight or difference of opinion every time. Just politely, you know, like have your food separately and let them have their food separately. Believe in the concept of coexistence, but don't believe in the concept of compromise as such. That is the thing. And most importantly, purity related to food and purity related to speech you should have. So abusing people or making promises that you cannot fulfill should not be done. In fooding, if you are like, you know, follow your religion. And if your religion forbids of you, forbids you of eating non-vegetarian food, then don't eat non-vegetarian food. Otherwise, it will not be good for this Jupiter. Jupiter, when it is coming into third house, donation one should do, donation of cloth, donation of food, donation of grain one should do. Along with that, distribution of books should also be done. You know, reading shlokas from, or reading couplets from your religious text and using it in your favor whenever you are talking to someone or using it as a praman, what you call it, using it as an evidence to support whatever you are trying to convey is also something that you should do with this Jupiter if there is Jupiter in the third house. Along with that, one should listen to pravachans, right? This speaking of holy people, religious people, you should listen to it every day, morning, evening. You should have a habit of listening to satsang and the sermons of learned people and things related to spirituality, you should have a habit of listening. With Jupiter in the third house, I generally recommend people to have a white plain notebook and keep on writing the name of the deity in that notebook, the written anam japa or the name writing of the deity repeatedly. For example, you can take a plain, plain white blank notebook and can write the name of Ram one page every day or can write the name of any deity one page per day. This is the best remedy for Jupiter in the third house. It will make sure that you get the blessings of Jupiter, good results of Jupiter that it gives in third house and any negative result, if that is giving, 
that negative result can be avoided. See Jupiter in the fourth house, fourth house is heart. It is experience, right? So one thing is that I am Hindu, I believe I am Hindu, verbal. Secondary, I am Hindu, I do something which is exclusive to Hinduism, doing astrology, practicing astrology and you know, having purity of speech, thinking the complete world is my family. Right. So the religious ideas of your religion, if you apply it very seriously in your life, this is the best thing that you can do with Jupiter in the fourth house. Take the religious idea and apply it rigorously in your life. Take a religious philosophy and make it your life, Jupiter in the fourth house. The practice of meditation is very good. Donation of clothes is very good. Most importantly, religious stories and things related to religion you should tell in your family, right? In your family, you should be the most spiritual person who talks about spirituality and tells other about spirituality and what the dharma teaches them. That you should do and specifically worship of female deities if possible should be done. Most importantly for male males with Jupiter in the fourth house, see divinity in every female and don't disrespect them. Don't abuse them. Don't talk bad about them, backbiting, bitching. These things should be avoided. Or Jupiter in the fourth house to give you the best results. And make sure that you don't wear very old or torn clothes. You don't wear. Right. And have cleanliness in like, you know, at, wear clothes which are well ironed and, you know, which are good to look. Don't wear like mismatched clothes or short or very long clothes should not be worn. Fitted clothes, which suits the which suits the personality, which goes with the skin tone and the occasion where you are visiting should be worn. That is also a very good remedy with Jupiter in the fourth house. Jupiter in the fifth house. Meditation is a very good remedy. Thinking about you know, religious concepts and religious ideas and then implementing it. Also highly recommended. Other than that, engaging in religious debates, spiritual conversation is very good. Donation of religious books are, is also highly recommended. At least one page of a religious book you should read every day. Writing of shlokas or writing the name of a deity in a blank paper. One page every day is also highly recommended. Doing mantra chanting of any deity is also highly recommended. And just having a glimpse of the deity and just folding your hands even for five minutes in front of the deity should be done every morning and before sleeping in the evening. That will also be very good. And with respect to Jupiter in 4th house and 5th house, both. When you are lying on the bed just before sleeping, sleep while thinking of God, chanting the name of the God, this will be the miraculous, the most miraculous remedy that you will have, that you can do in your life. Right. So this also you should do. Jupiter in the 6th house, donation of sweets, highly recommended. No matter how great enmity is there, don't talk bad about the person and never scold people. Have become sweet spoken, right? Speak sweetly to everyone. Don't insult or humiliate people by your words. Right? Whenever possible, see there are some animals who live in human society, but they are not pet animals. Animals like monkey, etc. Monkey. And all of these things. So monkey is not a very pet animal like a cat or a dog. But they interact with human society. Give food, shelter and protection to such animals. If possible, donate to those organizations who look after such animals. These you should do. Most importantly, in these cases, what I have seen with Jupiter in the sixth house, that if one 
like whenever they do any mistake or whenever something goes wrong if they do a whole hearted prayer to any god and admitting their mistake and seeking forgiveness this is also very beneficial most importantly if you ever see someone in the middle ages you say between uh, 45 to 70 year of age doing some you know low level work give them some amount of money cloth or anything if possible give it to them it will also be a very very miraculous thing for you jupiter in the 7th house it is not a very good place for jupiter right jupiter will lose his directional strength so in this case i recommend serving in the temple of dt so cleaning the temple making donations for the renovation of temple implementing the you know discipline in the temple like if you just help the help the priest in the temple manage the crowd or do things to manage the crowd right or you know like in a religious place there can be in a religious place there will be places where people wash their hand and feet right so in this complete process some water can spill out that if you can make some arrangements which will stop the spilling of water right or you say if you put some floor mat etc there donate some floor floor uh, donate some floor mat etc for these places so that water don't spill and make the environment dirty this will be one of the best remedies that you can do with jupiter in the 7th house generally what happens that someone in your family may have started some custom related to a deity or made some promise to a deity that i will do this or i will keep on doing this that the family members have forgotten you have to find that pledge and fulfill it on behalf of your ancestors until and unless it is done i have seen that jupiter connected to the seventh house situated in the seventh house these people remain underdog and they don't get the blessings and support of good fortune in their life until and unless they do this so this is something that needs to be very very seriously done most importantly because jupiter is connected to the 7th house remain ethical and moral in relationships don't go in relationship only for time pass don't cheat your don't cheat your life partner either mentally physically or verbally most importantly any type of verbal abuse to people of opposite gender talking bad about them uh, bitching about them or trying to humiliate them with your speech should be strictly avoided otherwise it will be problematic and once a year try to go to a pilgrimage and have holy bath have bath in some holy river jupiter in the 8th house donation of food is very necessary donation of food one should do arranging of arrangement of cleanliness related items to temples and religious places arrangement of water body water sources etc to religious places and places which are for public use should be done right helping to maintain either by donation of money or by physical work the such places which are meant for public use community centers etc is also very very beneficial right most importantly you should find any temple of your religion which is near a you know near a burial ground or funeral pyre not the temple inside it but a temple nearby outside the complex and if possible make some donation for the temple or regularly visit the temple right if you can help people with your knowledge clear confusion or make better decisions that should be done giving food to you know people who cannot earn for themselves or very old and weak people is very good and whenever see and whenever you see any old person struggling with anything right crossing the road you say or making a livelihood you say or anything right whenever you see a struggling old person you should try to help them whichever way possible this is also one of the very best remedy for jupiter in the eighth house if jupiter is going in the ninth house then daily visiting of temple mantra chanting at least going on a pilgrimage once a year is very necessary also visit a holy river once a year and take bath into it take if you take 1 liter or 5 liters of water from some holy river and mix 
one spoonful of water in your mixing water every day and bath with that water. This will also be very good. Follow dharma. So speaking lies, cheating people, and showing your cleverness to humiliate people, etc. These things should not be done. Take care of people dependent on you. Have a disciplined life. And most importantly, you should know your preferences, right? If your mother is saying something and your friends are saying something, you should follow your mother and be very strict with following the advice of your mother, father, spouse, children, as compared to doing things which is told by neighbors or siblings or friends. Right? Because mother, father, children, spouse is your dharma, others are not. So being very strict with respect to what is your dharma and realizing your responsibility towards people who are dharmically dependent on you is very necessary. Along with that, reading one page of a religious text every day, one page I am saying minimum, one chapter every day also you can do if you are fluent with that is also very good. Right. With Jupiter in the ninth house, donation for the renovation of temple or constantly donating in the temples and to religious people, priests, etc. Okay. So, priests, etc. and to your teachers, gurus is very good. Many gurus like Ramana Maharshi, Ramakrishna Paramahans have books written on themselves or they generally have books which, there are generally books which contain their sayings. Such books you should read and try to implement as much as you can. Most importantly, if anything related to your religion is happening around you, try to participate in that. And if using your knowledge, you can help people guide anyway or remove sufferings from their life, do that. Jupiter in the 10th house, be dharmic in whatever you do. So doing things such as cheating, copying and all of these things should not be done. Engage in the work related to dharma. Right? So if it is like, you know, arranging of a Bhagavad Katha and you know, if some temple is arranging for some, you know, travel of the deity, jhaki, etc. of the deity, then participating in that or giving money for the successful completion of such things, that should be done. Right? This Things such as, you know, having dual standards with people or favoring people whom you like should be strongly avoided. Your get up should strongly exude the religion that you belong to. Right? Wearing of rosary, etc. Traditional dresses and these things should be there, should be done. Following the advice of someone, you can take a scripture. Like you can take the words of Krishna Ram. For example, you see, like a very staunch follower of Ram will be the one who always keeps their promise no matter what happens. A very staunch follower of Krishna will follow any of the four yogas, right? Bhakti yoga, Jnana yoga, Raja yoga, Karma yoga, any of these yogas from Bhagavad Gita very strictly. Right? Or you say if someone follows Ramana Maharshi, then they will read all the teachings of Ramana Maharshi and they will try to implement maximum of it. You see, compassion with beings and self-questioning always that who am I, what I am doing and all of these things. So following a particular type of, following any teacher or any god should be rigorously done in your day-to-day -day life. And for social activities and activities which are for the welfare of the society at large, you should participate in it donate money or do physical or you know be physically present in all these uh, rallies and do all of these works which are for the betterment of the society for example say such about this cleanliness drive so around your area like help maintaining the cleanliness in your area either you do it by telling people about the benefits of cleanliness or keeping an eye over those people who are throwing garbage here and there and telling them not to do so will be beneficial either way. It means it's not like you start scolding the people who are throwing garbage here and there and pick up a fight with them. That's not the way. So you should use your intelligence because Jupiter's intelligence wisdom also. So use your intelligence too. Take the right step. 
and most importantly treat your colleagues as you know someone who are dependent on you and always guide them professional competition is not good right this approach of why i should help him he is senior or why i should help him he is junior he should find his own way should not be done whenever possible help the people like dependent on you specifically subordinates and in fact even it, it's not like you take res their responsibility and do their work right but at least don't misguide them or give them a proper guidance if you should not take their work as such but if you know a way in which they can effectively do they can do their work more efficiently that way you should tell to them at this you should jupiter in the 11th house become ethical and moral in your financial dealings right favoring people for more money or giving more time and attention to people who are giving you more money and you know treating bad with people who are not financially rewarding for you these things should not be there remain ethical and moral in your financial dealings you should always support and encourage your subordinates and respect your you know respect your bosses and people who are senior professionally to you right never disrespect them never give them bad advice and like 10th house if there is some advice that you can give them to make their work easier do it the donation of wealth to temples and to needy people should be done never like never never stay back in appreciating one who deserves appreciation you should do also rewarding people for their good work should also be done right maintain a good relationship with your siblings people of opposite gender don't talk bad about them men should not, men should stay away from eve teasing and doing all of these things that such things like you know like laughing on women or laughing on the beauty etc of someone looks etc of someone specifically people of opposite gender should be strictly avoided right one should like donation to temples and religious people either financial donation or if you cannot financially donate then you can go and you know like help them do their duties you can go and clean the temple you can go and arrange something for the temple right you can go and you know manage something for temple these things should be done with jupiter in the 11th house one should have an habit of reading at least like you know once a day one hour a day or two hour or one and a half hour per day you should find some time to you know read religious books implementation of religious ideas should be done in your life and jupiter in the 11th house generally what happens that one should keep a eye over what they are thinking generally these people can be you know very much attracted towards getting something which is unethical or immoral adharmic in fact you know they can be hell bent on getting something which is adharmic so they should keep a check over their thought for example constantly thinking of bad happening with someone or you know like mentally thinking that this person should get proper punishment this person should get the result of karma and all of these things should be avoided because with jupiter in the 11th house what you think of others happens with you also so if you think that others should you know this person is this person is very you know proud of his beauty so one day his beauty will fade then we will see such thoughts you should not have because his beauty will fade or not that i don't know your beauty will suddenly take a hit so have a positive approach and don't think bad about others the thought of revenge and all of these things that you know god will see and god will give the result such things such negative tendencies you should not develop in yourself jupiter in the 12th house donation of clothes donation of food donations to temples and religious people should be done following a guru getting a proper initiation doing mantra sadhana in mantra chant no mantra chanting mantra sadhana properly is highly recommended 
there are some people who want to get some knowledge or do something but they cannot do because of their inability you should help them right with jupiter in the 12th house for example some foreigners want to know about hindu religion you tell you tell them about hindu religion and help them in every possible way whatever is possible right specifically people living at the you know fringes of society people living on the border line of the society that right? poor people if you can give them things of need tools etc blankets in winter you say fan in summer season then it will be very very beneficial make sure to have a at least regular habit of donation by regular i don't mean daily but on a regular interval right so having a regular donation habit of donation is also highly recommended and practicing meditation and contemplation on religious ideas rigorously following any religious book or a religious guru is also highly recommended so these four or five things whatever i told you for jupiter in different houses if you do it will make sure that you have happiness fortune and enjoyment related to these houses because this is what jupiter indicates other good results indicated by jupiter in these houses you will also enjoy and the bad results whatever if jupiter is indicating those bad results will also slowly slowly come down and you will be able to enjoy your life in a very good way right so do these things and you will find change in life yourself thank you for watching the video even if this can change the life of one person for better i will feel the work can be rewarded so do it right i have like given such advices to many and have seen their life changing right but when i give advice i give it as per horoscope and with many other advices also but if you just get benefited by just a youtube video then very great right so seriously follow it right whatever i am telling you that will surely benefit because i only tell after properly testing it and telling it to many people right you listen to it carefully and follow it rigorously your life will change and that will give me extreme happiness to know that some that you have listened to it carefully and followed it rigorously right thank you for watching the video